great in Titanic. Titanic's my favorite movie. Hello? Leo? Listen, I, I got your number from... He said you might be able to help me narrow down my choices for the right track car. You know, sports cars going around the track. Yeah, I, I figure since you're kind of an adventure seeker that maybe you'd know. Yeah, I've got this long list and I need to narrow it down. Hello? Leo? Hello? Who are you? Leo. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm just a guy trying to find the right track car. You know, for performance driving. I've, I've got so many options that I need to narrow them down. I tried calling Tom. I camped outside Jay's garage. Um, I'm kind of running out of options here. I imagine that right now you're feeling a bit like Alice, tumbling down the rabbit hole. Yeah, you know, it's hard. I've got coupes, convertibles, German, Japanese, rear wheel drive, all wheel drive. It's a lot to decide. I can see it in your eyes. Well, I do spend a lot of time on car configurators, you know, staying up late, searching online. I don't think I can pick the right car without getting some advice. Why not? I just haven't had that much track time. You know, I want to pick the right car, but I don't want something too fast or too slow. I need to get it right. I know exactly what you mean. Let me tell you why you're here. You're here because you know something. What you know you can't explain, but you feel it. You felt it your entire life. Lawrence, uh, Morpheus, <laughs> that all sounds kind of spiritual, but if I knew what kind of car to pick, I would not be here in this creepy place. It smells mildewy in here, man. I feel like picking the right car to start my track driving education is going to be kind of important. It is this feeling that has brought you to me. Do you know what I'm talking about? I have absolutely no idea. I'm just here to get advice on the right track car. Leo said you could help me pick it. Do you want to know what it is? Yes, I keep telling you. Man, I should have gone to Dempsey. He's a Porsche guy. Do you have a suggestion on the right car for me or not? You have to see it for yourself. This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Those Mike and Ikes? They look like Mike and Ikes. <laughs> hey, this is a cool vibe, but I really don't want to drop acid just to figure out which sports car to buy, so I'm gonna go and let you... Yeah. I, uh, parked in the garage. You validate?
Hi, Mr. Connery. I, I really appreciate you taking time to meet. Lawrence said maybe you could help. Why is that? Well, I'm trying to pick the right track car. You know, for learning about car control. Some solo driving, maybe one day a little wheel to wheel. I, I figured who better to help me than James Bond. <laughs> I'm trying to find a car that has a mix between performance, safety, and maybe a little cool factor. You know what I mean? Yes. Yes, I do. Good. Hey, maybe I finally come to the right place. Uh, see, this track driving thing is new to me, so I want to find a car that handles well, something versatile, to handle any kind of track condition. Even if you don't have a condition, you might have a situation. Yeah, uh, sure. Um, so you understand what I'm looking for. You've done some track driving, right, Sean? Me? No. You've never raced before? Never done any high-performance driving? With all the James Bond stuff? You never did Le Mans? I figured you hung out in that same group with McQueen and Newman. No. I thought all you guys race cars together. Okay. Um, well, maybe you can still help me with, with my list. I need to narrow it down. I've got all the usual suspects. Cayman MX-5, maybe you could take a look and let me know where I should focus. I thought maybe you'd read that, like right now, and give me some advice on which car I should pick. Well, you're wrong. Hey, you're leaving? You know Daniel Craig wouldn't be like this. Hey, come on. What did I say? You're still my second favorite Bond. I should have taken the red pill. Or was it the blue pill?